Welcome back, everybody. Do you have the Grand Oaks acorn? <sighs> Suddenly it all becomes clear. You hear that talking tree there? It all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What is your name? That's not a qu I need to ask him a question. <laughs> so you claim. They said you didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away. I dare you. How do I enter the forest? It's where the wolfmen have their lair. But the trees will block the path. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. I, uh... And you know how, don't you? Oh, I know that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? Are you talking about the rhyming oak? You know of it? Good, that makes this much easier. Yes, that's the one. I'm not going to kill the oak because you asked me to. It's up to you. Yes, indeed. Your choice. Time to move on now. Oh, I see. Report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. Yeah. It appears someone has dug a hole beneath the stump leading to a tiny and filthy cave sort. Obviously, the hermit sleeps in there. There also appears to be a small cubby hole within the body of the trunk itself. It is filled with mud, twigs, and other debris. Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Out. Uh, reach under the cubby hole. You feel something else moving around in the mud and stabs your hand painfully as you yank your prize out. You're a robber, is what you are. They sent you, didn't they? Well, I'll show you that you won't get away with this. Oh, no. Let Morgan deal with the demons. She's has practice. Whoa! Whoa! Morgan, get up! Oh, Togoff is dead, isn't he? Yep. So much for me thinking I was doing well. Unless I can pull off a victory here.
Come on, Morgan. Aha. Uh, why would a greater rage, rage demon have a? I just think a uh, a what we'll call it mind fart ice self. Swift South, Magic Staff, plus one to magic, same thing I have now. Commoner Clothing, Dream Seer, plus 10% spirit damage. Alright. I hope that I grab the acorn out of that. That's what that was. Drop your cold on him, Morgan. Who's he got? Alistair. Oh, Togoff, you are not looking good. Shoot, I was not paying attention. What's wrong with you now? Magic, cunning, damage. Let's give you an injury kit. It's cured up to up to three injuries. Yeah. We can't afford Togoff to be weakened here. That's a rather nice looking temple with a gravestone. The air seems unnaturally cold around the ancient tombstone. Runes of warning are carved into the surface. Let's disturb them, because that's what we do. Oh, wow, that's a, a revenant. Oh, sh shoot. Perhaps not the best idea I've had. Let's try and kill that thing quick. They're immune to cold. Great. That's what we wanted. Just what we wanted. Mind blast. Not good, this revenant is a nasty thing. Oh, and there goes my timer. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching, and please tune in the next episode. Thanks for watching.